So uh, this video is about uh, local class field theory on crack. And, um, okay, so let's start with uh, uh, K is a local field. So let's, let's start with K over QP. So this is going to be a mixed characteristic. Um, and so this is a finite extension. And uh, there's a number of invariants that, that one would like to recover uh, just from the, the uh, absolute Galois group of K. So the idea will be uh, from GK, so this is the absolute Galois group, we're going to recover um, uh, many different invariants. So uh, interesting or invariants of K. Okay, so uh, that's really vague, but uh, let's start with, um, uh, so we'll, we'll essentially be able to, descri to describe everything about the, the, this field K, except for uh, the, 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 the field itself. So, I mean, the field itself is an invariant, but we won't be able to do that. Crap, I just dropped something. Uh, one second. Okay, so uh, I'm back, and uh, let me let me just try and describe what some of these things are. So, so let's recall. Oh crap! So let's recall uh, the following: that uh, uh, so that there's an isomorphism here. This is the Artin map, GK abelianization, to uh, K uh, cross hat, and so this is the profinite completion of this group. Uh, sometimes this is called theta of, of k. So this is the Artin map, and there's this isomorphism between these two guys. Um, this can actually be extended a, a bit. So um, so this is the Artin map, and let me say a little bit more about this. Um, so G K ab. Okay, so this thing maps to uh, the the unramified. Uh, extensions, so we could call this GK unramified. Uh, here, this goes to one, and then the kernel of this, I guess, is the the inertia. One like this, and um, okay, this thing is isomorphic to the absolute Galois group of uh, of the 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 residue field. So. Okay, so let's let's fix some more notation. So then here we'll say that K is the residue field. Okay, and this thing uh, is isomorphic to. Let's do blue. Okay, so this is the same thing as G K, and this is generated by the Frobenius. Uh, so this is isomorphic to Z hat. Um, all right. And then, um, all right. And then in here, okay. So now let's let's go on the the uh, uh, abelian or on on the field side here. So we have this thing here. So we have a copy of z hat. So this is uh, this z hat corresponds to the valuation. So this is order. Okay. So then we have this this uh, isomorphism here. So this commutes. Okay, and so when, once you have the, the isomorphism here, so the kernel of this map is the units cross hat. Okay, and we've already seen this in another video. Um, this is actually isomorphic to itself, but uh, that's that doesn't really matter. Okay, so but but um, uh, so yeah, when you complete this, it doesn't matter when you take the units, and that that comes from the description of the units, which is done in another video. Okay. So we have all this wonderful stuff, and maybe I can just try and, and list it, and I'm gonna I'm just gonna kind of maybe state the the types of things that you can recover. Uh, so the invariants that you can recover just from from this group, okay? And I, I want to say that it's an interpretation, but it's unclear at the present moment. Uh, so maybe this is this is a, a an open question to think about. Um, okay, so model theoretically. Um, what uh, signature is used uh, to describe uh, 
Well, all the things I'm going to do, okay? All these uh, reconstructions. Okay, so like, what is the model theoretic framework for this? And I have a little video, if you don't know what a, a signature is and what an interpretation is, um, uh, I'll link to that. Okay, okay, so we have this uh, local class field theory, which is this isomorphism here, and it respects this, this extra additional structure. So let me just say, what. so from G we can recover many things, okay? So, uh, so let me just start to list them. So, uh, so how do we recover things? So P, uh, okay, so this is the residue characteristic. Um, okay, so this is the residue characteristic. What else do we have? We have uh, uh, F. So this could be the residue, residue degree. Um, we have uh, D. So this is the degree of, um, of K over QP. Okay, we have E which is uh, the, well, okay, so then this is the ramification. Uh, index. Okay, uh, we have I, which is the inertia group. Uh, this is the, is okay, so for, for this one, this is gonna be defined to be the kernel as opposed to the other one that I wrote on the previous page, this is, um, let me go back here. So this is the kernel of uh, the full Galois group to uh, the residue Galois group. Okay? Uh, okay, so the absolute Galois group, the absolute Galois group here, and, um, okay. Uh, so this thing has a, a, a wild ramification piece. So we have P, so this is the wild ramification piece. Wild inertia. So this is the pro-P group, so P, where, where P is the residue characteristic. Uh, and then we have uh, a certain Frobenius element. So the Frobenius, okay, so I guess then we have uh, GK. Uh, and this is the absolute Galois group of the residue field. And then uh, we have uh, the, the certain Frobenius element here, which is an element of GK. So this is nice for, um, for constructing representations here. Okay, so these are all the things that we have. Uh, now I'm going to describe how to reconstruct these uh, group theoretically. And so maybe I, I can try and uh, do uh, these things. So just from the group, let me try and make this as nice as possible. So from the group, I'm going to try and give an interpretation of all these things, or some things that just use the group language. Okay, so it's not going to refer to anything outside of that that uh, will allow us to reconstruct these things. Okay, so um, maybe these, these lines are a little much. Right. Okay, so uh, I might need a little space here, but and IG, okay, okay. Okay, so just from the group. Okay, so P, uh, so this thing here, so this is the unique prime, and this was seen in another video, uh, such that uh, this, this number that I'm going to do, so, uh, and I'm going to do it in terms of logs, so the logarithm, and then you do uh, one, so the number, and so I take the, I take the group, I take its abelianization, I mod out by torsion, okay, and then I look at uh, the quotient, so this is an abelian group, and I do L, G, abelianization, torsion. Okay, so this thing here, we're using, from this theorem, we're using uh, the description, the, the art map, or the description of this in terms of this, and then we're using the description of the of the units. Okay, so this thing needs to be bigger than or equal to 2. Okay, so this P is a unique prime such that this, this condition holds. Okay, 
So uh, what about f? So f is, is similar. Uh, f uses the definition of p. Okay, so we can call this number uh, maybe p of g. All right, now um, now what do we have? So f, uh, so this is the residue field degree. Um, so we take log with respect to our prime now of 1 plus the number. Okay, so if we take the torsion point of the abelianization, so there's this description in terms of Teichmuller lifts, right? So I have this number, and then I raise it to the p to the g. Okay, so there's this description of this in terms of uh, Teichmuller lifts, and uh, uh, this, so uh, the, the part of the unit group in terms of Teichmuller lifts, and this is what this is doing for us, okay? So we can define this to be f of g. Okay, and that's how we're going to recover this one. Okay, so the residue degree. So the res residue degree is is uh, is something similar. So, um, or sorry, the, the the degree of this extension. We also we did also see this in another video. So this is uh, we take this logarithm of something like this. So we take uh, the abelianization modulo torsion. Okay, so this is like the units mod torsion modulo, and then we take it modulo of p torsion. Okay, so and uh, then we subtract one. Okay, and, and uh, why this works was explained in in a in a previous video. Okay, so to do the ramification index, uh, well, what do we do? We take so now we this number here we'll define to be d of g. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Another. Okay. How, how is this? So this uses again the description of units um, for a, a local field. Okay. Uh, Okay, so what's f of g? So, oh, sorry, sorry, what's e? e is, um, well, we take this, this number d of g that we already defined, and we divide it by f of g. Okay, and, uh, yeah, so this is, this is defined to be e of g. Okay, so now we've recovered kind of all this information about the residue field in this degree of the extension here. Okay, how do we do the inertia group? The inertia group is a little bit more interesting. Uh, I just want to state what it is so that we know that this is possible. So this is the intersection, okay, of here we take normal subgroups of G. So these are normal open, open, uh, and then they satisfy that the, so now we can, we can take the ramification degree of this normal subgroup. So open subgroups correspond to field extensions, okay, and so then all this crap applies. Right, and so uh, in particular, I can take uh, e. I can ask that e of n is equal to uh, e of, of of g. So this means that it will be totally ramified. Okay, so this is uh, this is how we define this group, and we'll define this group to be i of g. So this is the group theoretic interpretation of the inertia group. Okay, how do we do the wild inertia? So the wild inertia, uh, maybe I need a little bit more space here. So the wild inertia, oh, this one's going to be easy to define, this next one. So the wild inertia is uh, the intersection over normal subgroups. Um, so here. Uh, again, the, they're going to be open where, where the, the residue characteristic uh, does not divide, uh, e.g. divided by en. Okay, so I, I guess I need to think about that. Maybe we can both think, we can all think about this, but the idea here is that the wild inertia is the, built from uh, these groups where uh, the, the prime uh, so, so where the, uh, which divide the residue characteristic. So the order of the group divides the residue characteristic. Okay. So, um, yeah, and the order of the group is, I guess, the, 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 the order of the respective quotient will be G divided by N. And since this is going to be the whole thing, it's uh, this. Okay. So, um, all right. Now what? Now we need um, oh the the residue characteristic. So this one's easy. 
So this one is, uh, uh, so this is uh, I divided by, uh, let's see, it's uh, G divided by I. So, so we have this guy. So th what do we call this? So we, we can call this I of G, and this is P of G. Okay, and then this is, uh, so, uh, I don't know how we should call this. Um, well, this is G divided by I of G. Okay, and that comes from the exact sequence that we had before. And now, um, we want to define the Frobenius. Okay, so, so we have all these things, and we would like to talk about, there's many situations where we want to talk about the Galois representation. In particular, we want to use the theory of weights to recover more things. Uh, and so we'll have these th this group acting on a bunch of things. And uh, how do we do this? So we, we define uh, this, this guy here. So this is the unique element uh, of uh, G mod I of G, uh, whose image, okay, uh, under the, this representation, um, so the, uh, the, the tame, the, so that the tame inertia, so that we have whose image under this map, so we'll define this conjugation map from G mod I of G to the automorphisms of I of G mod P of G. So this is the tame inertia here, uh, is multiplication by by p to the g, pg to the fg. Okay, so now, uh, in, now uh, that's that's all the things I wanted to say. So we really have um, uh, of uh, uh, a reconstruction of all of uh, a lot of these properties from um, uh, from just the the absolute Galois group. And I should mention here that uh, uh, what we don't get from the this from just look, looking at the absolute Galois group um, of the local field is we don't get the, the the ring itself, right? So we have the multiplicative group, right? And we have the, all of this extra structure, but we don't, we can't actually reconstruct the, the field. Um, okay, and um, I, I, th that's all I wanted to say about this. Um, uh,